Welcome to The Rose, Golden's premier event center, located in downtown Golden, just 30 minutes west of Denver. The Rose is conveniently nestled between two different hotels within walking distance, as well as easy access to two different parking structures, and is just a block and a half away from beautiful Clear Creek, an ideal location for outside photography. My name is Patricia Zutman. I am the Director of Special Events for The Rose and a Certified Special Event and Wedding Planner, and I am excited to show you around. Let us begin underneath the marquee, which is customizable. Imagine your event name, catchphrase, or slogan up in lights, ensuring your guests know right away that this is your event. Before we move inside, I'd like to point out that we are able to reserve up to three parking spaces through the city on your behalf. Once we've put a proposal together for you, these fees are outlined in the transportation notes section of your banquet event order through your guest portal. These parking spaces are useful for unloading and loading of decor for your event, as a drop-off zone for party transportation should you have your ceremony off-site, as an Uber or Lyft drop-off zone for you or your guests, or upfront parking for any VIP guests, which could include grandparents or other guests who could really benefit from parking close to the entrance to the venue. As we enter into the lobby space, you'll notice this table on the right, which is often used for your guest book. The table opposite can often be used to display any ceremony items, if your ceremony is on site, such as programs, tissues for happy tears, etc., as a memory table with photos of loved ones, unable to attend, or as a table to display any of your favorite photos to help you personalize the space. The two TVs in the lobby can be used to display a slideshow, wedding logo, or image. Please note that the TVs display the same image. There's a free web-based software by Canva, which has a presentation template, which can help you create a custom logo or image that will perfectly fit these screens. Should you opt to create a logo, you can then send us that image, which do you then incorporate into bar and food station menus, such as on an hors d'oeuvre station or a buffet. A tiny little detail, which could create a sense of cohesiveness in your decor, and wouldn't cost you a penny to do that. The lobby also features two shuffleboard games, providing complimentary entertainment for your guests throughout your event. Behind the shuffleboards, you'll notice some black lines and numbers on the wall, which were uncovered during the renovations back in 2018. These are over 100 years old and date back to when the facility was Church's Garage, and those are the stall markers for the garage. In fact, our venue is quite historical, as noted by the numerous historical placards placed in and outside of the venue. Should you be a history buff, you can read more about the building's history dating back to the late 1800s on our Our Stories tab on our website. We typically set up an appetizer station here. You may have a second appetizer station outside of the stateroom should your cocktail hour be hosted on both floors for your event. As we move around the bar, we often set up the card and gift table here directly across from the bar so as to keep it away from the front door. However, you're more than welcome to swap this table's location with that for the hors d'oeuvre station should you prefer. The lobby 360 degree bar allows for two bar stations to be set up for your event. On the far side of the bar, we like to set up a water and coffee station as this allows your guests to help themselves should they want either of these beverages. When you book your event at the Rose, you'll notice a line item for your venue fee on your proposal. This is a flat fee. This way you know that regardless of whether your guest count goes up or down, it's one flat fee. This venue fee allows up to 10 hours of venue access. We do require at least two hours for setup and one hour for teardown. This fee also covers all the tables. We have five foot rounds and a variety of different sizes of banquet tables, our powdered black folding resin chairs, 38 different colors of linens, and setup and teardown of these items to include your place settings with your chinaware, flatware, and glassware. We also have three different sizes of cylinder bases that you're more than welcome to borrow to help decorate your event space. These work well with three inch floating candles. We also have two floor easels that you could borrow to use, for example, for a welcome sign and or seating chart. The Rose also provides you with an experienced event coordinator to assist you throughout the planning process and to act as your day of coordinator on your wedding day. When it comes to your event, you'll work with your event coordinator to design a floor plan that fits the needs for your event. For those weddings that want to have a ceremony on site, there are three options. The first, with the traditional ceremony setup, with the chairs on each side with an aisle down the middle. 
Depending on your guest count, your ceremony can either be held in front of the stage or on the stage. For events with more than 100 people, we do encourage those ceremonies to take place on the stage as it allows for better viewing by your guests and for more space on the floor. Tables for your reception are preset and pushed off to the side. Event staff will then flip the room from ceremony setup to that for the reception during cocktail hour. The second option works well for mid-size events and allows for guests to sit at their tables for the ceremony. In doing so, the room does not have to be flipped during cocktail hour. Third option is for smaller events with fewer than 50 guests and allows for the ceremony to take place in front of the floor to ceiling black curtain that can be pulled across the width of the room to create an intimate ceremony setup. The reception is often set up behind the curtain, which is then revealed when guests are invited to dinner. As we move into the event space, you'll notice we have our forward restrooms directly across from the bar, a second set of restrooms near the stage, and a set of restrooms upstairs on the mezzanine level. Your event coordinator will help you design the perfect event space for your reception. Just as with your ceremony setup, your floor plan for your reception is completely customizable. Couples have utilized the center table along our south booth with their wedding party on each side, while others have pulled in a sweetheart table on the dance floor, or opted for a private table at our north booth. We've also had some couples opt for a head table with their wedding party on either the dance floor or even the stage, and we've even had some couples opt for a king table with their wedding party and their dates. This grand table is often set up right down the middle of the venue with guest tables surrounding it. For those events wanting buffet dinner service, we set the buffets up underneath the mezzanine overhang, which then allows you and your guests to sit out in the open, fully enjoying the open concept of our two-story venue. Dessert is oftentimes set up underneath this black window, but other locations can be explored should there be space available on your floor plan. The Rose also features an incredible mezzanine level, which allows for elevated seating for your event. Seating guests on the mezzanine level allows your guests more room to spread out, which can make your main floor more spacious. You'll notice that the rail is deep enough for a dinner plate, and the elevated booths along the back wall ensure there isn't a bad seat in the house. When it comes to entertainment for your event, the Rose is outfitted to accommodate whatever you have in mind. For those wanting a DJ for their event, we have a number of great DJs listed on our preferred vendor list on our website. DJs often bring their own equipment for sound and lighting. Sound carries really well in the event space, so they do not need to use our concert quality speakers. Should you prefer to bring in a band for your event, we try to simplify this process for you. As soon as you've booked your band, we'll have our production manager reach out to them to obtain the band's stage plot and channel assignments. They'll also schedule the band's load in and sound check. Bands do require the use of one of our amazing sound and lighting engineers. Their fee is outlined on your proposal and will include their time for setup and teardown as well as for the duration of your event. The Rose also has a projection screen on the back side of the stage which can be used to display your wedding image or for a slideshow during dinner. The Rose also has two dressing rooms that you're able to utilize. The lower dressing room, which also doubles as the green room for bands, features a historic door which many bands have signed over the years. This room is located just behind the stage on the main level and has a couch for lounging, a mirror, sink, and private restroom. The upstairs dressing room is the larger of the two spaces and features our something blue velvet couch. This space includes a full vanity and a private restroom as well. Both of these rooms lock and you will be given the code for the day so that you can rest assured that your private belongings are secure. Couples are more than welcome to bring in any sort of outside catering to enjoy while getting ready. We're often seeing grooms opt to bring in sandwiches, pizza, or other hearty bites, whereas brides are often opting to bring in meat, cheese, and cracker trays with food that is not going to stain their dress. Should either party want any getting ready beverages, the Rose would need to provide those items since we carry the liquor license. We have bubbly bars, canned and bottled beers, and bottled wine for you to choose from. We do not allow for any hard alcohol in either of the getting ready rooms. Most couples arrive hair and makeup ready and just opt to get dressed on site. Your event coordinator can help with the pinning on of any boutonnieres if needed. Should you want to include a first look, the Rose has the perfect room for this intimate moment. Our stateroom lounge featuring 1,000 square feet of steampunk elegance is favored by many of our photographers. 
We also have a great list of photographers, such as Lambs Photography, who has done all of the styled shoots at the Rose and who has put this video together, listed on our preferred vendor list as well. Should you opt for a first look, the stateroom is then used as a holding space for the couple and those walking down the processional for the ceremony. As guests are arriving and taking their seats down below, you get to hang out with your loved ones in this incredible space. When it comes time for the ceremony, your event coordinator will come get you to line you up in the hallway behind the staircase to the stateroom. The stateroom is also a great location for cocktail hour. We definitely recommend the addition of this space for events with more than 125 guests as it provides your guests with more room to spread out, as well as two bars from which to get a drink, speeding up beverage service. We would set up a second hors d'oeuvre station outside of the stateroom. That way guests can help themselves to some delicious bites without the need of going downstairs. We also provide past hors d'oeuvre service, so should any of your guests be tucked into a corner, we can present them with some small bites as well. For those events that include the stateroom in their rental, this room is kept open for cocktail hour and through dinner. The lounge is then closed down after dinner to help encourage your guests onto the main floor where toasts, first dances, cake cutting, and the rest of the party will take place. Another historical feature that can easily identified from the mezzanine is the diamond pattern on the floor below. This identifies the original Golden Plunge swimming pool dating back to the late 1920s, which still remains beneath the sturdy floorboards of the building. The pool extends to about halfway up underneath the stage and as you look upward, the chandeliers are supposed to mimic the bubbles coming up from the pool. The staircase by the stage is often utilized for the grand entrance. As guests are finding their seats for dinner, the wedding party is invited to the top of the staircase so they and the newlyweds can be announced into the reception. The Rose also has a number of spaces next door in the restaurant which can be utilized for your rehearsal lunch or dinner or post-wedding brunch. Rehearsals typically take place the day prior to your wedding from 11 to noon. When you're ready to book your event at The Rose, you'll access your guest portal to electronically sign the contract. A signed contract and a $1,000 deposit are required to confirm your event date with us. When you sign the contract, the only thing you're committing to is that you agree to host your event at our venue on your contract date. The Rose hosts only one wedding a day, so you're more than welcome to shift your 10 hour event time if needed. That being said, we do ask that all events end by 11 with cleanup to midnight. The estimated and guaranteed guest counts on your contract are based on your initial guest count submitted when requesting a proposal. Your final guest count is what will be used to finalize your contract and be reflective of the number of guests you will be charged for for your event. With respect to the contract, there are three policies in place to protect you and the Rose. The first is our Force Majeure policy, which basically states that should the state or county shut venues down, as happened in 2020, where it's neither your or our fault, we will either refund any money that you've paid or move it over to a new available date. The second policy is our rescheduling policy. Should our doors be open, but for one reason or another, you want to reschedule your event, this policy basically states that if you let us know that you want to reschedule your event before 120 days prior to your event, which is when your 50% payment is due, then we will move your entire deposit over to that new available date. Should you let us know less than 120 days prior to your event, now you have paid your 50% payment, then we'd move a percentage of those payments over to that new available date. Reason being, as soon as you book your event with us, we're turning away any and all business inquiries and we're not looking for business for that date. So the fees are kept to help cover potential lost business as well as event coordination up to that point in time. The third policy is our cancellation policy. This policy applies should you wish to cancel your event with us for any reason. You forfeit your deposit when you cancel your event. Should you cancel your event before 120 days prior to your event, which again is when your 50% payment is due, then that's all you are forfeiting. Should you let us know less than 120 days prior to your event, now you have paid your 50% payment, then a percentage of those payments would be refunded back to you, as some payment is kept to cover potential loss business as well as event coordination up to that point in time. The service fee is explained in full on your proposal in the general notes section. We believe in being fully transparent with our fees. You'll also notice on your proposal that we do include gratuity as a line item, as this allows couples to budget for this expense. 
We hope you've enjoyed this detailed and thorough narrated venue tour and that it's helped you realize that the Rose is the ideal location for your upcoming wedding. Please feel free to reach out to us with any of your questions at events at buffalorose.net. We look forward to hearing from you.